Okay, welcome back guys. We have another question from chapter 2 of the textbook Beer and Johnson and in this question we have two forces that are applying to a hook. Uh, we know that the magnitude of the force P is 35 Newton and we need to determine by trigonometry a required angle alpha if the resultant of the two forces apply to the support is to be horizontal and b we need to find the magnitude of the r or the resultant of these two forces so what we are looking uh here we're going to use the triangle rule and law of science in order to find what the question is asking in these two sections but before that please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends that might find this helpful and let's get started so what we are looking for is we have the force 50 Newton that is making 25 degrees with horizontal and if we use the triangle rule we have the force P as well here P and the R or resultant would be the force or the vector that connects the beginning of the 50 Newton to the end of the P, which we also know from the question is 35 Newton so basically what we have if we want to show it in here this will be our P and this will be our R and this would be another way of finding R which is the parallelogram rule so if this angle over here is alpha that means here we have alpha 2 so this angle over here is alpha and we know this is 25 degrees and everything's ready for using the law of sines and for that we have the sine of alpha so we are doing the law of sine and we have the sine of alpha over this force which is 15 and over here we have we can go with the sine of 25 degrees over the force P or this side which is 35 Newton and from here we can find sine of alpha which will be 0 0.604 and alpha simply would be the sine reverse of 0 0.604 and if we calculate this we'll get 37. 14 degrees for alpha so we found the a part of the question where we needed to find the alpha which we found is 37.14 and the b part of the question we need to find the magnitude of r and uh, since we know the sum of all angles in the triangle is 180 degrees so basically we have if we call this angle over here beta we have alpha plus beta plus 25 degrees equals to 180 degrees we already know what's alpha 37.14 and from here we can find beta which will be 117.86 and now that we have this uh, we can do another law of sines to find the r and for here we simply have sine of beta over r equals to uh we can we go with the sine of 25 degrees over 35 or uh we can go with the sine of alpha which we found 37.14 over 50. we can pick any of this we know beta uh, in here is 117.86 and what we have is 35 times sine of so I'm going to use this one times sine of 117.86 equals to r times sine of 25 degrees and from here we can find r which will be 73.2 newton and that would be the final answer for this question or the B part that we were looking for and that would be all for this question please make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know uh, if you guys have any specific problem from the three textbooks that we're covering in this channel and I'd be happy to cover it in the next videos 
You guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.